What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the FN's downtown studios. I am John Ramdean alongside Robin Black. UFC 206 going down this Saturday night at the Air Canada Centre here in Toronto. And we got to respond to an article written by Dave Hilson of the Toronto Sun. He clearly does not know what he's talking about. He feels that this UFC 206 card uh, is better suited for a fight night in Moncton. Clearly insulting the people in Moncton. <laughs> However, he says no disrespect to the people in Moncton. Oh, then it's okay. Just so you know, Mr. Hilson, Donald Cerrone's on this card. 17 performance or knockout of the night or submission bonuses in the WEC and the UFC. Anthony Pettis and Cub Swanson, seven bonuses. Uh, Matt Brown, four bonuses. Max Holloway, three bonuses. Uh, not to mention some of the other very talented fighters on the card. You have two light heavyweight prospects in Misha Surkinov and uh, Nikita Krylov. You have a very important fight at 125 pounds with Dustin Ortiz and the former Bellator champion, Zach Makovsky. The ladies are on the card. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I'm glad that you went off. So, uh, and I like that you came in there with some facts. But this man and others like him are representative of a big, real problem in fighting. Uh, the same guy would go and write about uh, golf or write about curling or write about the Toronto Maple Leafs, the worst team in hockey. And they won't go, well, you know, I would watch this golf Masters, but this year none of the big names are in it. It's the biggest thing in sports, but none of the big names are in this one, so I can't. That curling, oh man, I, you know, it's, it's Finland. I don't know any of these people. I, I, they're, they're not famous. I can't write about it. The difference, sir, is you understand those sports. You do not understand this sport. He probably doesn't understand those either. <laughs> yeah, probably not. But fighting is a sport and an art form. If you're going to see it for entertainment, to, oh, look, you know, that guy who sings Achy Breaky Heart's daughter might fight. Don't watch it. This is an art form and a sport that in and of itself at a high level is a beautiful contest between elite athletes. They don't have to be famous. They don't have to be big names. And if you're spending all of your time watching and reading about unions and about Dana White and about gossip and about lawsuits with George St. Pierre, then you're interested in that crap and just go watch that crap and write about that crap like 99% of the journalists in fighting. And that's the embarrassing part about it is that all these journalists seem to be parroting each other. Oh, you know, everybody else says this card is crap, so I think this card is crap too because this is what I've been but told. none of them know. I know. They just don't they know. Don't and know. That's... They don't understand fighting. And This is a huge problem in the sport of mixed martial arts and the sport of fighting is a whole bunch of people who really liked pro wrestling or really like entertainment or are captured by large shiny things end up parroting, as you said, these stories and the, the stories around the fights and what happens next after the fight and who's mad at who and none of them know anything about the fights themselves. When Even at the open workouts where you see these beautiful skilled martial artists expressing the highest level of skill, you could watch it the way you watch gymnastics in the Olympics. Nobody's sitting around going, what's next for the Olympic gold medalist? <laughs> or I wonder who they're dating or who are they angry at on Twitter? They marvel at the skill. But but we are sorely lacking that in, in the way people cover fighting because most of them don't know what they're looking at. I'll tell you what really baffles me is the fact that you're paying your money. If you're a fan and you're going to the Air Canada Centre on Saturday night, you're going there to see people fight. You're going to see people get knocked out, get kicked in the head, get kicked in the body. You're there to see carnage. So when you look at this UFC 206 card, and I've mentioned the action yeah. fighters that are on this card, they're going to deliver because history shows throughout their career, the majority, these, the majority of these fighters have delivered on that level. So if you're paying to go and get people, to go see people put on a show and fight, I don't get it. That's what you're going to see. It, this is a cultural thing. This, what's this guy's name? Tillman? Yeah, Hil Hilson. Hilson, Dave whatever. Hilson. Hey, listen, you're not alone. Culturally, why does do the Kardashians exist? Well, people would become really good singers or really good athletes or really good actors or really good dancers and then later become famous and people would be obsessed with all the nonsense that they do outside of the thing they do brilliantly. And then the Kardashians were like, why even bother with the brilliant thing? Nobody even pays attention to it anyways. And that's what you're doing when you're sitting there 
You know, I, we love George. George is not only one of our favorite fighters ever, he's a personal friend. But George St. Pierre kind of was a boring fighter. We all know that. Everybody who knows fighting. We, we loved that he was a winner, and we loved that he was dominant, and we loved watching him execute brilliantly. But you didn't even, most of the people who wrote about George yeah. or missing George don't even really pay attention to his fighting style. He was so skilled and so dominant that he bored a lot of you people. Didn't bore and the I, people who know, and I've asked but he people bored that. a lot of and you I've people. And I've asked people that too. Oh, George St. Pierre is awesome. I'm like, really? Why is he awesome? Uh, because he wins. That's great. And, and that's yeah. right. Yeah. And that's what it comes yeah. down to. These guys, a lot of the, the journalists and some of the fans, they can't even explain why some of these athletes are as good Brian as they are. But if this Brian Pillman guy or whatever his name is that wrote this article, uh, he's all oh, man and they didn't get George St. Pierre. Listen, we love George. And yes, he's famous. And it'll be a big deal because a famous guy is there. But it's the same people who will cry and moan and bitch because somebody held somebody else down. George is, the reason that he would bore a lot of people is because his skill level is so high, he's so incredibly dominant, that you need some information about fighting to understand how brilliant he is and appreciate him. However, he's also famous, so you want to see him on the fight card. Listen, this is, they're also at blame here is the UFC themselves. The easy way to sell something is explosions and, oh my God, this time it's real. And man, these guys hate each other. And there's some bad blood here. And this is the greatest fighter you've ever, they were, they became so good at hype. They became so good at the machine of marketing that the average person was like, oh, I got to see this. They hate each other and that guy's famous. And most of them never never clued into the fact of what you're watching. I know when you watch football, you watch the game. I know when you watch hockey, you watch the game. When you even watch golf, you watch that guy hit the thing and you see a tiny little ball flying up there and you're watching the game. But a lot of you nincompoops are obsessed with Twitter and who's angry at who and what somebody said on somebody's podcast instead of the martial arts themselves. And that's what the we're supposed to be doing here. I'll tell you what's sad about it is even the UFC at the root, they understand what they have. Sean Shelby understands what's going on. Even Dana White, apparently, when talking about UFC 206, he said, what are we doing about pumping up the tires of this South Korean Duho Choi? We believe this is one guy we need to watch out for. And there's people like, who in the world is this guy yeah, yeah. even talking about? Duho Choi, three fights in the UFC, two performance bonuses. You're going to know his name over the next year. Three so. first round knockouts, and he's facing Cub Swanson, an innovator, and somebody who is so free and exquisitely skilled in a fight. And those two fighters in the fight, third from the top, one, two, three from the top, is, are, just that alone is worth seeing. I, again, last time I'm going to say this, I get it. You don't know anything about fighting, so you need to have some kind of storyline, like when you grew up watching WWE, or some type of beef, or preferably a famous person. But if you don't know about fighting, sir, please stop writing about fighting. I feel we do know a little bit something about mixed martial arts and fighting. That's why we're telling you to tune into UFC 206. There's gonna be a lot of very important fights. Of course, Max Holloway, Anthony Pettis trying to become the interim featherweight champion. On top of that, some of the biggest action names in the sport.